This is an Adept One robot disassembled. It has four degrees of freedom. The first motor that turns the shoulder joint is in the base of the robot. That turns the whole assembly inside. And there's a metal belt here that couples this rotation to the elbow. And at that point, there's a digital encoder that's meshed with a gear to a ring here that measures that, that angular rotation. This gear is actually two plate gears coupled together with the spring, spring-loaded to help prevent backlash. All right, now we can see the arm move. When it's rotated, you can see the metal belt just rolling along a ring. Let me go back the other way now. And notice that all the cables are just fed through and they twist because the rotation is limited between a range. You can't rotate around 360 degrees, so no slip rings are required. And as the shoulder rotates, because of the metal belt, it's coupled such that the elbow rotates in the opposite direction. We also have pneumatic lines that carry pressure to the grippers and to all the motors that have pneumatic brakes on them. Here's the forearm of the robot. It has a ball screw that penetrates through one end. And there are two actuators here. There's a stepper motor that's belt driven to this larger pulley here. That makes the whole vertical assembly turn. There's also, inside of this elbow joint, there's a stator here, multiple coils, that forms a stepper motor in which this rotor turns. And on both of these actuators, there are custom-made encoder plates with fine slots cut in them. The slots are read by these optical sensors. Each joint has a pneumatic brake on it. And we have pneumatic valves that switch pressure to and from these cylinders. Here's a brake for the spinning motion of this member. It pushes up against this to put the brakes on. There's a rubber pad on the end of the aluminum piece. Here's a close-up of one of the digital encoder discs. And again, the slots are picked up by photo transistors. The disc slots interrupt the beam from LEDs. Here's a close-up of the stator of the final roll motor that causes rotation of the jaw grippers. This is the rotor that fits inside. You can see the strong magnetic pull.